Barry GFX here going to bring you a tutorial on Cinema 4D of how to make a nice 3D text. Alright, so open up your Cinema 4D, change your render settings to whatever you want. I always do uh, 1280 by 720. Then I go to anti aliasing and put it to best, 1 by 1, 2 by 2. Actually, I'm going to just go 4 by 4, 1 by 1, 4 by 4. Alright. Now, go to MoGraph, pick text object, and then just type in whatever you want your text to be. I'm just going to type in tutorial. Alright, once you do that, pick your font. I'm going to use this font called the Bass. Alright, and now what you want to do is just increase the uh, depth to, uh, like, say, 80 to 100. I'm just going to go 100. This increases the depth, obviously. Alright, now you want to go to caps, fill a cap, fill a cap on both ends. I'm going to do radius 3, steps 3 on each one. And now, as you can see, this will uh, round the edge of the text of all the letters. Alright, and now you want to come down here, double click make a new material. I'm going to go with a dark, dark, dark gray. Go to reflection. Oh, and uncheck speculator because speculator is ugly. And then I'm going to put the brightness to about 15. Then go to texture and click this little arrow right here. Then go to Fresnel. And I'm going to put this one to 15 as well. This gives it a really, really nice reflection. You can't see it right now because they don't have any lights or anything. Alright, see, now it's just it's looking kind of dull. So, drag this, uh, drag it over while holding control. Drag that text over. Double click and change your color to something that you want. I'm just going to go with a nice blue. Then drag that on the text object. And as you can see, it just overlays it and it's blue. So, you want to click on the blue material right here and just press R1 and make sure that R is a capital and then this will uh, make the fill caps outlined in blue and this gives a really 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 nice look I use this a lot alright so once that's done if you want to do it to, if you want to do it to the other, to the, uh, other side you just drag it and type in R2 and that will put it on the other side as well. It's not really needed though because they're not going to be looking at it. Alright, and once you did that, you want to add a light. If you have a grayscale gorilla, you like it, all you can do is go, go to here, and this will take a while to open. Yeah, it takes a while. speed this card up. Alright, so once that is open, you're going to want to go to presets, then scroll down till you find Grayscale Gorilla Like It Pro, and click on it, and then there will be overhead softbox and rain light. Add an overhead softbox and add a rain light. And these are just really, really, really nice lights in my opinion. Alright, zoom out until you can see the rain light and the softbox. I'm going to put it right in the middle here. Then, uh, take the rain light, move it down, put it in the middle. I'm going to put it r just right under it. And now, if we render this out, you can see that there's some nice reflections there. But we're going to drag the rain light down a bit more so it doesn't reflect onto the text. Because we don't really want that. Alright, so once that's done,
to take to make sure the ring light doesn't appear in your final render. Right click on light, click on Cinema 4D tags, go to compositing and uncheck scene by camera. And do this to the sphere as well. Just uncheck scene by camera. Alright, once that's done, you can see that it won't appear down here anymore. Alright, there it's that easy. Alright, now I'm going to add a sky and I'm going to double, double click down here and open up a new material. I'm going to go to texture, load image, and then most of, if, if you guys use Cinema 4D, you'll probably have some HDRI images. And if not, you can find them in your uh, content browser right over here. But I have one that I use right here. So. I'm just going to drag this onto the sky and then right click on the sky, cinema 4D takes compositing and uncheck scene by camera there too and this gives it a really really nice reflection alright and once that's done just really do whatever you want oh well first probably going to be putting this in a Photoshop or something like that. So go to PNG, click Alpha Channel, save it here, wherever you want. I'm just going to save it to desktop. I'm just going to type in tutorial text. Save it, and then you can add an effect if you want, like ambient inclusion or global illumination. I'm not going to do any of that, though. And then just click right here. This is Render to Picture Viewer. And once this finishes rendering, your text will be wherever you saved it with no background and then you can put it in Photoshop and use it in an edit or something, I don't know whatever you want so once this is done rendering I'll show you what it is alright now it's done rendering go to your desktop or wherever you saved it click it there, your text is there. Nice reflections, nice uh, colors, and there's no background. So you can put this in a Photoshop or GIMP, whatever you use. And yeah, this has been Barry GFX. Peace.